Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today's video is going to be a super relaxing clean with me and I'm also going to be showing y'all what I made the kids for lunch, but this video is just super relaxing. You can see I am making my lemon water first thing in the morning. I love doing that. I love waking up with lemon water. I feel like it really just refreshes me the first thing in the morning and really gets me hydrated and lemon is also a mood booster so it helps me out throughout the day to stay in that happy good mood and stay energized I am totally not a morning person. I'm more of a night owl. I actually love staying up late at night, so sometimes it can be hard for me to wake up in the morning, especially on school days with the kids when I'm trying to wake up a little bit earlier. So I definitely like to start my mornings with some of this lemon water, but I am just cutting up some extra lemons. That way I can have some lemon water all throughout the day, and I'm just going ahead and cutting those up now. That way I don't have to worry about it later on. So now I'm just coming into our bedroom and I'm going to start tidying up in here first by making the bed and then I'm going to clean up all around the room and light some candles and turn the lamps on, open the blinds and just get that really happy mood going. I feel like mornings can be so sacred and I really try to protect my energy in the mornings, make sure I start my day out right because I am definitely guilty of starting my day out wrong and then the entire day just seems like everything goes wrong after that or I just can't get my mood back where I want it to be so like I said mornings are so sacred and I just am trying to make sure I'm practicing my slow homemaking like I've talked about before on my channel you guys know I love slow homemaking actually slowing down enjoying what you're doing I saw a quote earlier today that said homemaking is a passion and not a prison and that really stuck with me and I just loved it so I thought I would pass it on to you guys. actually about to start making the kids lunches now I'm gonna make them some barbecue and some crescent rolls and some broccoli and also put in some Welch's fruit snacks in there too so this is kind of like a special lunch sometimes I just do like sandwiches like ham sandwiches or chicken salad or something but I figured today I would make it a little bit more special for them and make like a hot lunch instead of a cold lunch
So now that I've got the crescent rolls and the barbecue cooking in the oven, I'm just gonna start on this broccoli. I'm just gonna start by rinsing it off. But I have a little tip for you mamas if you're having a hard time getting your kids to eat broccoli. I learned a long time ago, sometimes it's not the food that the kids don't like, it's how it's being prepared or presented to them. And so I learned a long time ago when my kids were toddlers that if I cut the broccoli up in smaller pieces, they are way more likely to eat it. And if it's in bigger pieces, they tend to not really like grab it. So also if you could serve it with ranch dressing, I didn't have any on hand, but my kids love broccoli with ranch dressing. So to cook my broccoli, I always do it in the microwave. It's just the easiest way, but also I feel like it has the best taste whenever I do it this way, but I just put it into a bowl and put about a tablespoon of water in there with it because you just want a little bit of steam and then I cover it with some saran wrap and poke a few holes in it and then I cook it in the microwave for about four minutes but I feel like it just gives it that fresh crunchy taste but it's still cooked at the same time So I always love to see kids lunch ideas so I can get more ideas and mix things up for my kids. So I hope this lunch helps you meal plan for your kids lunches as well. But now that lunchtime is over, I'm just gonna start cleaning up in the kitchen. And one thing that I needed to do was unload the dishwasher. We still had some dishes in there because the dishwasher didn't get unloaded that morning. And so dishes were already starting to pile up in the sink. So I wanted to go ahead and get all the dishes out of the dishwasher and also load the ones into the dishwasher that were in the sink. So normally I don't clean out my sink until the nighttime because we're going to be cooking dinner anyway and then more food is going to be in there and so there's kind of no point to do it in the middle of the day. But because there was already so much food in there that I had to wash out, I really just wanted to clean it really quickly. It takes no time anyway so it was no problem but I've got my little glove here with all the bristles on there. I have forgotten about this actually. The last time I used it was cleaning our car and it's been out in the garage ever since then but I found it the other day and I was like oh I've been missing this. I couldn't find it anywhere so it's back and all I do is just put some dish soap in the sink and then I just use this glove to scrub my sink.
As you can see, I am totally backed up on laundry. I've got two full baskets right here waiting for me in the laundry room. So today is going to be a huge laundry day, but I'm just gonna get this going and also take the laundry out of the dryer so I can get that folded as well. But if you guys are liking this video and you're finding it very relaxing, please hit that thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've done one of these shorter videos. I've been doing some pretty lengthy ones lately, so I just wanted to give you guys a shorter one because I know some of y'all love those. You love watching them really quickly and then getting really motivated. So I figured I'd switch it up and do a shorter video and also make it really relaxing for you guys. So if you like this style, definitely hit that thumbs up and let me know. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, I know this one was a little bit shorter than I've been doing recently. So I'll leave some more videos up here on the screen for you guys, just in case y'all want some more motivation.